welcome you all back to marine mechanic this video is all about lightweight dead weight and displacement of a ship we all know the definitions very well however when probed for an answer we we are unable to answer for it in this video let's understand from the basics in very simple terms what is lightweight what is dead weight and displacement Hope you all will enjoy this. First what you are going to see is lightweight of a ship. Lightweight. So lightweight can be simply defined as the weight of the ship, just the bare empty weight of the ship. Let's say we are building a ship in the dry dock or shipyard. Uh, this is the ship. This ship will have frames and girders, beams, everything in it. All the welded structures, the weldment, rudder, propeller, everything in it. And the entire weight of the ship without any consumables, without any fuel or lube oil or stores or supply, crew, spares, nothing should be there. And the bare weight of the ship is called lightweight. that's called lightweight of the ship now one will be having a slight confusion whether if we place the machinery on board let's say the main engine has been erected the generators have been erected boilers have been erected should we consider all these things for the lightweight the answer will be yes to the best of my knowledge whatever i have referred all the generators, main engine, boiler, tanks, everything has to be accounted for lightweight. The ship just out of the shipyard ready to sail. But that should not have lube oil or fuel oil or fresh water. Everything, all the consumables, stores, spares, nothing should be there. Just a bare ship. That's lightweight. Next, we'll see about the dead weight. So the next is dead weight. What is dead weight measurement or dead weight tons of a ship? So let's assume this to be the ship. All right, so let's join it here. And we have seen what a light weight is all about. Let's say this to be the empty ship the light weight of the ship we just put the ship in water so it will sink to a particular draft let's say that is this thing so this sinkage is due to the light weight of the ship or the weight of the empty ship without any stores fuel lube oil now, to understand dead weight, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill the ship with necessary supplies. Let's say spares for the engine, fresh water, fuel oil, and then the cargo. So, when I fill the ship with the necessary supplies for the running of the ship, that's the fresh water, lube oil, fuel oil, spares, inventory, all of, it, all of this stuff, including the cargo, the ship is going to sink more because you're going to, you're, you've added some more weight in it. So that's called dead weight. Or dead weight is whatever you add on top of the light weight of the ship. So dead weight basically consists of mainly cargo, fresh water, lube oil, fuel oil, inventory, stores, dry provisions, etc. So that's the dead weight. Now it's easy to understand the displacement. So let's go to displacement. Again, 
again, let's take uh, a ship. I'm sorry. That's the ship. So, what you're now going to do is, this is the empty ship, that's the lightweight, which includes framing, weldment, machineries, etc. But you haven't added any cargo or supplies in it. So, this is the light ship. Let's say the light ship, when you put it out in water, it sinks to this draft let's call it as small d so the light weight sinks to smaller draft d or empty ship now i'm going to bunker fuels now let's say i take in fuel oil lube oil necessary fresh water over here and then I'm going to load cargo in various holes. So, as I load cargo, the ship sinks even more. What I mean is, upon the light weight of the ship, I'm adding some dead weight. So, dead weight changes the ship's draft to bigger D. And it depends on amount of cargo you add. Let's say you load it to the maximum, that will be meeting the summer load line, depending on what waters you are. So dead weight sinks the ship to capital draft or capital D, which is empty ship plus the dead weight is equal to the displacement. So to encapsulate from first, we have seen what is light weight. Light weight is the empty ship with its framing, machineries, uh, other structures, but without any fresh water fuel and other supplies. Dead weight. Dead weight is whatever things we add on the ship for its running or smooth running of the ship. Let's say fresh water fuel oil, lube oil, uh, food, provisions, stores, inventory, and main thing is cargo so that's dead weight and displacement is the total weight of the ship in running condition at any particular draft so the displacement can be simply said as displacement is equal to dead weight plus light weight that's very simple once again how can we explain displacement Let's say you have a bucket full of water. All right, so I'll just explain it this way. You take a bucket full of water. Let's say the water is still here. Now you're going to drop a ball on it. Let's say this is the size of the ball. Let's say a plastic ball or a rubber ball, whatever it is. As you drop the ball smoothly, what happens now? You got to think and then imagine it. Even though it appears to be simple, once we understand this concept, we will never forget it again. So, as I drop the ball, the ball has a weight, let's say W, and this weight is added on to the water or water surface and the weight acts downwards like this as we all know the water exerts an upthrust in opposite direction equal to the weight of the water so that we call it as buoyancy that's simple so we'll not go further as this is not the scope of this topic now due to the weight of the ball the water starts to spill out or the weight of the ball displaces equal amount of water since the weight of the ball w displaces you got to note this word it displaces so that's why we call it as displacement the water falls out and when you collect this water in a separate beaker 
and this volume of water when you measure it the weight gives indirectly the weight of the ball you need not measure the weight of the ball over here you can indirectly measure let's say the water which is coming out you collect it in the beaker here and measure the weight of it so the weight of volume of water collected due to the displacement by the weight w is called as displacement so when you compare this to the ship to the ship the ship gets into the water from the shipyard or dry dock and then the weight of the ship displaces equal amount of water or equal to its weight let's assume we are in a floating dock or let's say some dry dock where the gates the lock gates are closed before the ship enters inside a dry dock I'm just giving one more perspective so that we understand it better so this is the dock and uh, let's say the water is still let's say uh, some uh, 8 to 10 8 meters let's assume for example so the water is 8 meters now now I'm gonna bring the ship inside and then dock it over here and the dock gates are closed now that's the ship so once you bring the ship inside you're adding weight over the water which is similar to the ball which you have added upon the water on a beaker so what happens the ship tries to displace some water how much will it displace which is equal to the weight of the ship so that's called displacement as simple as that so in this video we have seen what is displacement what is dead weight and what is lightweight all these things with respect to shipping are mentioned in tons so the reason is very simple ships are heavy and the amount of cargo it carries is huge so we call it in tons uh, the same thing applies to the tankers which we uh, see it on road they call it in liters or kilograms in the next video we'll see about the gross tonnage and the net tonnage and a small request from my side after watching this video if you're completely satisfied with my answer or the concept please press the thumbs up small thumbs up button which is the like button which is just giving me a feedback on how much or how exactly I'm hitting the bullseye you know so it's sort of a feedback something like that so once you like it please like it if you don't just post a comment there why don't you like my video so that I can improve on it thank you